Hello, what's up? Ali here. And on this video, we are going to show you how to install multiple FPKGs on our jailbroken PS4. This is to answer a request from one of the members of our community. So if you have some concerns or requests as well, just let me know in our comment section and we will try to add them on our future videos. First, let us go ahead and prepare our hard drive and our games. As per the request, we are going to install God of War Ragnarok, including the Valhalla DLC and other add-ons. First, we need the base game. Then, we are going to need the update along with the backport. Next, all the DLCs or fix if there are any. Though it is not required, but it is highly advisable to install them on the right order. So, we are going to start with the base game. Next is the backport and the update, then the DLC. And one important thing that you have to keep in mind is that all parts should have the same region. So, let us go ahead and check the region of our base game. For this, we are going to need an application called the PS4 Package Viewer. With this application, we can check the information of the PS4 FPKG and check the region as well as the version. And as you can see here, on the content ID, the region of this base game is CUSA34386. So if you are going to install any DLC, add-ons, or any fixes, make sure that it will match this content ID. Now let us go ahead and check the update. Now this is our base game and this is our update. And as you can see, they both have the same content ID. So this update should work with this base game. Most of the time, you only need the base game and an update for a game to work. But if you plan to add some DLCs or any add-ons, always make sure that they will match the content ID of the base game. Like this add-on, the content ID is also the same with our base game, so this one should also work. Now as for our Valhalla DLC, the content ID is also the same. Now for our PS4 to recognize this game, we have to transfer this on the root of our hard drive formatted with XFAT or FAT32. But since FAT32 is limited to 4 gig single file, it is highly advisable to use XFAT. Otherwise, you will have to transfer them directly from your PC. Now on this video, we are going to use our hard drive formatted with XFAT. Next thing we have to do is we have to transfer the games or the FPKGs on the root of the hard drive. So when we access the hard drive, we should see the games right away. If it's in any other folder, our PS4 will not recognize the FPKGs. So they have to be placed on the root of the hard drive. Now let us go ahead and insert this hard drive on our PS4 and install. On the PS4, after we activate the jailbreak, let's go to the golden settings. Then debug settings, package installer, and here you should see all of the FPKGs on the root of your hard drive. Now to make it easier, I would also recommend to arrange their file names so that the base game will always be on top, followed by the update along with the backport, then the DLCs and fixes if there are any. So if they are already in the proper order, you can just go ahead and click on install all. After installing the game, you may go ahead and check the information by highlighting the game, press Option, and click on Information. Here you should see that the version should be anything but 1.0. Should you see here just 1.0, that means that you have only installed the base game. And most probably, that game will not work unless it's a very old game that does not require any backports. Now let us go ahead and check the game. And as you can see here, our game has the latest DLC, the Valhalla update. So for a quick summary, first, make sure that all of the FPKGs or all of the parts are present. The base game and the update. These two FPKGs are enough for the game to work. Though there are some games that require some fixes for them to work, but most of the time, fixes and DLCs are completely optional. Now when choosing an update, 
you don't need to install every update. All you need is just choose one update. But if you plan to install DLCs and some add-ons, also keep in mind the update requirements for those DLCs to work. So it is highly advisable to just go ahead and choose the latest update. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And if you have some requests, you can also share them on our comment section and we may add them on our next video. And again, this is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.